I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very difficult question on derivatives. The question here is, which of the following is derivative of f of x equals to absolute x? Explain your choice. We are given four different choices. One does not exist. Absolute x, x over square root of x square. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Uh, let me sketch the function for you. Let us say absolute x will be kind of like this, right? Okay. You need to find derivative of this function. Well, as you can see, it's a piecewise function. So, so when x is less than 0, the derivative is minus 1. And when x is greater than 0, it is plus 1. Uh, now, we are not given that kind of a choice here. The choice is 1 does not exist. Absolute value of x and x over square root x square. Now, when x is 0, derivative is not defined. Now, what is the right choice? Well, if this is a function, let me let me just give you one more thing here before I start. This is the function. Then, if I have to sketch the derivative of this function, then it is 1 here, right? I should say 0, 1 here. And here the slope is negative 1, so I could write this as negative 1 and 1, and is undefined at origin right so so at this point it does not exist so does not exist at x equals to zero is it okay so the that's how it is now what is the right choice so let me solve this with algebraic equation absolute value of x could be written as square root of x square. This is very important to understand, right? Absolute value of x could be written as square root of x square. Now, the derivative of this function, d dx of absolute value of x is equals to derivative of square root of x square, correct? So what is the derivative of square root of x square? Now, derivative of square root, that is, half of square root of x square times derivative of inside function which is 2x. Now that gives us 2 and 2 cancel x over square root of x square. Do you see that? So the choice d is the right choice. Do you understand? You write this function as d dx of x to the power of x square to the power of half, right? I purposely did not write because you may get into an idea of cancelling these powers. Don't do that, right? Use the power rule and the chain rule. So at this stage, apply power rule and chain rule. Is it okay? I mean, I mean, I should say chain rule only. Okay. So half of this to the power of minus half. Correct? So I'm redoing this for you. So it is like half of x squared to the power of half minus 1 times derivative of x squared, correct? That's the chain rule. And that's how you get this. So this is the derivative of x squared, and that is the derivative power rule, right? That's how the chain rule is applied. So I hope you understand and appreciate how algebraically we can find derivative of absolute x and it could be written as x over square root of x square. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to post questions and share my videos. If you like, I'll appreciate if you put some likes. Thank you and all the best.